I, I cannot make it. I, I will not make it without continued blood transfusions. So you can't not think about the people who donated. I mean, thank you is not enough because without those blood donations, we, we would have lost him a long time ago. And um, that would, that's not okay. <laughs> What if we could arrange an opportunity for you to meet one of those donors? I would love it, absolutely. I really would. We've been married five and a half years. We met at work, actually. When I saw him, I heard angels sing. And when he spoke to me and smiled at me, he just mesmerized me so much. And I remember her smile. I knew I didn't want anybody else. We were really excited and really hopeful for our future. One day, he called me as he was leaving the store, and he kept struggling to breathe. And by the time he got to his car, he couldn't breathe. I didn't have the heart condition. It was a blood condition. Greg was diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia. Our life just completely stopped because everything revolves around Greg's cancer now. AML is very aggressive and um, there's not a very high mortality rate for it. But when we're alone together, you know, he knows I'm scared. Greg can't live without the stem cell transplant and he couldn't have lived without the, the blood transfusions. So, um, yeah, I just really, I really appreciate everybody that's ever, ever donated. Good feeling. Oh, absolutely. I mean, meeting somebody that does that, there's, there's a real need, and I didn't realize it until it affected me. I don't think most people do. I've never been a donor. It makes me wish I had done things differently just to help someone that they have no idea who it is. Until now, I didn't understand the need. Michael. Yes, how you doing? I'm Greg, nice to how meet you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? I mean, if you think about it, it's what, takes me 15 minutes. I give a pint of blood, 15 minutes can give someone an extra an hour or two or maybe a year in life. It's, it's kind of worth it. I appreciate it. Oh, it's no big deal. I mean, it's 15 minutes, you know? I'm glad yeah. it's given you as much as it can. I mean, I guess I've kind of wondered about it. Where does it go? It's kind of neat that at some point in time, Probably the gallon or so of blood I've given, a couple gallons of blood I've actually gone to somebody and it's actually been useful. I have two little boys. They don't understand why daddy gets a needle in his arm, but it doesn't really hurt. It's like a bee sting. You always have time. It's just a matter what you choose to do with it. So how often do you need blood? Uh, it depends. Uh... I mean, the people who donate, uh, especially the ones who donate regularly, they saved this this wonderful man who's uh, you know a father and a husband and a police officer and just you know a son and a brother and just so important to so many people what's your blood type a positive okay yeah they affected not only his life but my life my children's lives they've all worked together to, to save him we're connected in a lot more ways than people know